Hey everybody, Lefty Lucy, Ridey Tidy here. Um, not a lot been going on this off season, and uh, ain't really had much to talk to you all about. And uh, figured I, I needed to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year, but uh, I didn't just want to make a blatant uh, cry for help and emotional. Uh, um, help, um, because I, I, I'm feeling pretty good. I hope everybody had a, a happy Christmas, and then hope you have a blessed New Year. But I wanted to, uh, I didn't want to post anything till I had something worth posting, and, um, I've just been doing, like, uh, spring cleaning and, uh, sorting out problems with the with the blue truck, all of them minor, um, nothing worth uh, throwing anything up yet. Although I am getting ready to pull the engine out to uh, completely replace all the core plugs, and I'm I'm working on a uh, on a schedule for that. And hopefully, I can I can post some good videos for that. Damn chain. Uh, anyway, um. What I did find that that I could probably show y'all is this guy right here. Um, I was out here cleaning the cleaning the shed, and uh, I've got a a drawer full of measuring instruments, uh, tape measures, vernier calipers, uh, levels, uh, anything that's used to measure anything, um, IR thermometers, all that kind of stuff. And this little guy right here was a, a little yard sale find way back. I paid a dollar for it. Uh, it's an altimeter, Japanese altimeter. Uh, from the looks of it, it's, it might be from the late 70s, uh, mid 80s. It's It's got a calibrated ring on it. But anyway, I pulled it out and proceeded to drop it. And I've never been inside of one of these things, so I opened it up, thinking uh, I was going to find a really elaborate um, mechanism. And it turns out that it's really very, very simple. Um, under this panel here, there is a sealed bellows arrangement um, that about three-quarters of the diameter of the case and through a network of levers, it works this lever right here. Okay? Now, this little guy right here is a silk thread. All right? And it was originally attached to the end of that lever. I don't know if you can see it, but there's still a, just a, a little bit of that thread there. And then we've got a watch spring wrapped around the shaft and when that thread oh, I can't there we go when that thread is attached you can see that watch spring gain tension and it's a difference between that tension and the tension on the sealed bellows on the other side that balances uh, the needle. It's this guy right here. Okay. Yeah, and it, it goes on that shaft right there. So what we're going to do is we're going we're going to very carefully pull that thread back over to the lever. See, the lever's got tension on it now. We're going to pull that thread back over to this other piece of thread, and we're going to use some super glue, and we're going to reattach it. Now, it's understood this is not an aviation instrument, and it is not any, nobody's life depends on this piece of equipment. Um, I just want to fix it to say I can. So... We went to uh, Harbor Freight today looking for something else and proceeded to find some cheap super glue. And 
we are getting ready to um do us a little bit of repair here, hopefully. So we're gonna let's see if we can get some light on the subject here. A little bit more light. There we go. We're gonna take we're gonna take that thread. We're gonna grab it. We got some room to work. We're gonna apply just a, a dab of super glue to it, and we're gonna to touch it to the other thread and hold it for a minute. And we're gonna release. Nope. Damn it. Oh well. This is gonna require some uh, finagling because of the thread has now spun all the way out of reach here. Yeah. Yeah, let's see if we can grab it and twist it a little bit. There we go. Come on, get back in there. Oh, God. There we go. And it is now, where is it? Oh, come on. Yeah, it needs to go back around the shoes there. The super glue has probably migrated up the thread. Oh, there it is. Okay. Position it where we can work with it some more. Okay. Now, don't let it snap back like that no more. There we go. Okay. I'm going to try this one more time. Very amazingly simple. Of course, some of the the early oh there there there's what we needed. The very early altimeters instruments like this were um. There we go. Early instruments like this were created by um, folks that uh, knew what they needed but had no idea what to do to get it. I mean, you know, they used to just use the, the noise of the wires between the wings to give them some idea if they're getting ready to stall and and some of them were some fa fantastic mechanical devices oh please let go yep needle nose and super glue don't mix that well more than 50 year old eyes without any kind of Amended vision, i.e., a jeweler's lope. And I'm out here under fluorescent lights with no kind of real intense light to help. There we go. And we've got her back. Got her back. The thing is, is yeah, what I need to do is load that somehow so that it doesn't, oh, uh, damn, 10 minutes already.